All right, Elite Code 3, let's do a uh, an SGC Black Tux order here. We've got about 100 and, uh, around 175, I would say. Um, of course, they did drop their prices down. I, I think they had them at 75 for a little bit. For for uh, for a while now, they've been 30 and 25 if you uh, use a group submitter or, or uh, send in a lot of stuff. So um, that leads me to be a little more flexible with what, what's sent in. Um, we'll start off with the 10. Card just looks cool. It looks cool with, with the uh, white borders and the uh, black tux. So that's the upper deck MVP base LeBron. Um, I don't know what the value on that is. Maybe 500 or so. Here's a radiance. I think PSA called this uh, men's size, but that's the SPX radiance to 100 Ricky Williams. This one was a uh, snap out. It came back PSA eight, and I was like, "This this card is not an eight. This is a this is a clean card. This this card deserves a nine. So I sent it to SUC. Got the grade that I thought the card deserved. So always uh, pretty satisfying when that happens. That's the '88 Fleer All Star Jordan. Gold medallion LT. That one's out of a hundred. Um, eight five on this one. Can't have a video without one of these, right? Future Watch Moss and a nine. Print two thousand. Carmelo, you've got the Upper Deck Star rookie. Of course, the uh, LeBron. Like this is a pretty big card. I would say this card might be tilting towards maybe a hundred bucks in a ten. Not sure though. So cool photography though. Here's a Durant. Just the base tops chrome, but still. Looks pretty good in that holder. You know, certain cards look better in the SGC holder than others. Uh, rookie exclusives, LeBron. That one is a 9.5, so mint plus on the rookie exclusives. 80. <laughs> I think this one was also PSA 8 that I just thought was a little better. So I sent to the SGC. Now the uh, value gain, I don't think there probably is. You probably lost money actually if you're just looking at the uh, resale SGC 8.5 compared to a PSA 8 but I guess I just sent it in out of spite which I don't know if that's the right thing to do Pujols Fleer 2001 Fleer tradition cool retro look the white with the black um, SGC 9 mint grade love the ultra and it is a challenging set too David Ortiz ultra 97 um, in a mint 9 this is tough because of the chipping. You often see white snowing on the back and front. So um, nine's actually pretty damn solid on that card. This is sick. This is the refractor. 250. Um, 2002 finest. Ed Reed. Nice shine on that one. This is the EX 2001 Manning. That is in... A nine grade. This is the glossy. Difference is just I don't know how to explain it other than that the the front's more smooth and, and glossy, hence the name. So that's the uh base fleared Durant. This is the uh the same set, but this is one of the uh 
low end inserts the rookie sensations and that one's a nine Dante Culpepper he he definitely had some good seasons out there in Minnesota tried to get things going and I think he had Dolphins and then he went to Oakland for a while there but um you know he had a, he had a good career but uh this is his SP authentic future watch in a 10 Jamal Lewis SP authentic in a 9 Stadium Club Moss Maybe a fifty, sixty dollar card in an SGC ten. Superimposed image, not not really the best looking card. Here's a Prism Joe Burrow. Um, it it just looks centered. I I thought it would probably get a ten. Or else there's really not much value, you know, an SGC nine five in a card like this. The 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 ultra modern okay. stuff. Um, this is the flagship Rogers. But you know, I th I think if if you're Worried about the uh, secondary market on some of your SGC slabs. Just don't charge just charge more for your stuff. Don't always sell it at a, at a discount. Breeze Vintage nine five. This is cool. Base Fleer. I've actually had I've had a lot of luck with this set. Not just with SGC, with PSA orders as well. It's just kind of like a uh, a set that grades pretty well. So Fleer and a ten. This is a neat one. This is the uh, the Atomic, I think. Yeah, Atomic Refractor out of a hundred. That's a ninety nine Bowman's Best Sabathia. The Retro Refractor Vic out of five fifty six and a nine. This is the Fleer. That's the 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 uh, Durant Fleer in a nine. We saw the glossy in a nine five. So there's there's your base one. There was two of these cold peppers. I don't know. I just came across them. I don't know what I'm doing buying cold pepper. I I think I might have had one of these at home or something. It just looked it looked really good. I thought nine five or ten, and they uh, awarded a ten on this one. So two of those tens. Maybe keep the one that looks stronger. I appeal wise. Helmet Heroes Moss in an 8.5. So there's a lot of old, older football. SP Authentic hand number probably was sent back in because it was damaged. So SP Authentic Ricky Williams in an SEC 9. We've got a cool shiny Calvin. That's 2007 Tops Finest. Nice shine on that pup. There's a Mookie Betts. Uh, the Tops Update Base in, an, in a 9.5. This is a pretty big card. It probably has a low pop, but this is the uh, Showcase Avant card. Two thousand one Showcase Pools. That's printed to five hundred too. So here's a McKinnon, um, twenty thirteen Prism base card in a nine. More hockey. We've got uh, Jack Hughes, his uh, Young Guns card two hundred one. That one got a 10. This one has some good shine. Peterson Topps Chrome Refractor from 2007. 9.5. They put the uh, Hummer H2 on it. There's like a darker background one and a lighter of this uh, LeBron card. So this one got an A5. It's, it's actually a really tough set. Silver, 2020 Prism Silver Brady in a 9.5. Here's the Aqua of Kyler. That one got a 9.5 as well. 299 print from Optic. Pretty cool card. Um, Kyler Select. This is the, uh, I think, just like the, the base one. Concourse maybe? No, it's premier level here's a Fleer Tradition LeBron in an 8.5 so card 261 
it's kind of nice having all these graded because when you go to sell them you know you just sell them and the condition that they're in graded is the condition that they're deemed to be it's just it, you know it's just an opinion by SCC but it's just different than selling rock cards uh, upper deck gold to 50 Tomlinson gets a 9 great card I think I picked this up cheap for like 50 bucks here's a Bo Jackson super rookie 88 tops and a 9 this was actually pulled from a factory set I, I broke about 10 of them I, I think I've gotten a few of these Emmets back in a 10 it's just it's tough card stock so if the card comes out centered and you don't have a weird like surface issue you're probably gonna have a great chance at a 10 that's what happened with this Emmet so I don't think that card has a ton of value but uh, it, it is fun breaking the stuff open here's a Fleer metal Jordan so I don't th I wouldn't have sent this in unless I thought it was gonna grade like a 9.5 or a 10 but 96 metal base Jordan in a 10 um, Upper Deck MVP LeBron. This one got a 10 as well, so the first one got a 10. You know, four or $500 card right there. Probably bought raw for 125 or so. Take out your grading fee, 20, 25, 30 bucks. You know. Here's the glossy and a 9. Just off-centered a little bit. You can kind of see that it's pretty obvious on the front. Uh, another Rookie Sensations. A 9.5. That's... There's also a Rookie Sensations glossy of this card. So that's the uh, base version. So a lot of doubles. They're not really together either. Here's the Silver Brady in a 9. Just saw one a second ago in a 9.5. Both look to be centered very nicely. So Acuna BCP 127 in a, in a 10. Really not a, not a difficult set. Lafreniere, that's his uh, Young Guns card 201 in a 10. Don Rest Preview, this this card was a uh, snap from a BGS 9.5. I, I just don't really collect Beckett stuff, so I snapped it out. I thought it was a 9.5 or a 10 after I snapped it out, and it got a 9.5. Here's Flagship Ichiro in a 9. Slight weight on the corners, centered very well. Fantastic example of that one. Classic card, too. This is neat. Um, Joe Maurer's base top scrum card got a 10. You know, I, I think he, he could have a chance at the Hall of Fame. So we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. I know his war is sitting right at like 60, which is kind of on the border. Uh, David Ortiz, that's the wave of the future. It actually says David Arias, but it's a 97 showcase issued card. So Mint Plus on the Ortiz. Here's another, there's a lot of Durant in this order. Lucky 13 Durant and a 9. This is cool. It's a Miggy 2003 top traded gold. So it's out of 2003. And it got a 9, which can be tough for these gold cards with, with chipping issues. Top Chrome Black Verlander to 549 gets a 9. I think I had one of these before and I sold it for around $200. So there is some value to this card in an SUC 9. Um, Piazza Fleer Update 9.5. That one's the centering looks great on this one. Here's your star rookie Pujols in a 9. Top Scrum Traded is in 9 as well. This is one I bought raw. It looked great. You know, it's just off-centered. 65-35 right to left. It probably doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in person. It doesn't look bad. It's just not... The, that's probably the reason why it got a 9. Uh, Star Rookies, Miggy in a 10. This card, I don't think it has much value. But, uh, you know, me and the Star Rookies, so... Score Traded, Griffey gets a 9.5. Maybe a $25, $30 card, so... Kind of pushing it with some of these. Here's your Thomas score traded 1990, and that one has the orange with the black. It looks looks pretty cool. So Thomas gets the 10, a second Griffey, getting a 10 on the second one, maybe a $70 card. Top Scrum Vic, that one's got some surface scratching, and. Uh, Slightly off centered, actually pretty good. So eight five, pretty respectable. 
flagship LT gets a 9.5. That's about a $60, $70 card right there. And these are these can be picked up for five, ten bucks raw. Here's the Hollow Mahomes 2020 Prism. That's definitely off top to bottom. So fair grade again. So I mean, all these grades are pretty fair and consistent. I don't really have any many issues with them. <clears throat> and then we're gonna finish off with uh, for this half of the order. I'll probably film the second half in a different segment and then loop them together. So this is the Refractor 8.5. I, I was hoping for a nine, but it, you know, still got an 8.5. That's the uh, Ray Lewis. Sweet card and shine as well. Continuing on. <clears throat> That's a nice one. Uh, 2001 top straighted Pujols in a 9.5. Beautiful. Let me put the stacks over here. Same card, 8.5. Very uh, respectable in an 8.5. Let's go to Ichiro. Definitely sifted through a lot of these copies over the last few years um, and kind of know what to look for. It's, it's pretty obvious with the green borders, etc. Uh, Anthony Rendon, 13 to 25. That's the red wave. Heritage, uh, high number, Refractor Lindor, 566 print, gets a 9. So I think, I've, I feel like I say this every video at least twice, but the uh, more basic tops cards or older cards look better in the SEC and the shinier's don't look quite as good. That's just, just an opinion. Uh, tops update, Vlad gets a 10. Probably not a ton of value on that one. Otani Bowman in a 9.5. Might be like a fifty dollar card. If if I was just guessing, I'd say this is forty to sixty. So Shohei Otani, that's actually an image. I think he's pitching in Japan, and they superimpose the uh, <coughs> the Angels uniform. Jacob Degrom, uh, fourteen tops heritage. That one gets a ten. Uh, 2018 Topps Chrome, Ronald Acuna Jr. That one is a 9. I think it's a top-to-bottom centering on this one. Uh, BCP 127 Base gets a 10. Here's a 9.5. Pro debut orange, that's the Wander Franco. That gets a nine. It's got a little white on the corner, so fair. This is probably a pop one. I don't think anybody else has sent this. I think I had this as a mint plus because it's got white there, so I would I would have mint plus this card. But uh black, Pujols to 70. That's 2021 top. So that's actually that's actually a cool image on that one. Here's your base flagship Otani Series 2, of course, in a 10. That is the Series 1 Devers variation, so the SP, not the SSP. I think the SSP, he's like uh, standing, on, <laughs> standing on the base, or I don't know. It's I also think the image is like this. So 10 on the Devers. One sec. Hey, man. Nothing today. Right. Thanks, man. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Here's your Soto 10. 
this, you know, maybe around a hundred dollars. I would guess on that card. Jacob Degrom, uh, tops update in a ten. So we're turning out some tens now. This is a, this is a neat one. So tops update ten, and then uh, Otani Bowman in a ten. Probably keep this and then sell the nine five. I think that's the thing that I enjoy a lot about SGC is when they give a 10, the card's typically <laughs> a 10. It looks like a 10. It is a 10. A lot less uh, randomness. <clears throat> SP Authentic Culpepper, and that gets a 10. Here's a 9.5. This is a sweet one. That's the uh, the Ed Reed. So this is typically off centered from right to left. Look at that card in this tux, green on black. That's filthy. So so in this case, this shiny card looks sensational. I got some water. <clears throat> uh, Fitzgerald, two fifteen tops chrome oh four. Nine five. Here's your star rookie limited Roth and nine five as well. <clears throat> yeah, this was sitting in the eight plus range, so I think it was something with the surface too. But it's the uh, 08 tops, Kershaw, the red hot rookies, kind of like an orange refractor look to it. Eight five on that. We got the. Debut Trout gets a nine. Twenty ten tops pro debut. This has some nice shine to it. Five sixty nine print. Vlad Jr. Heritage High Number Refractor. This is sick. So, Edge, that's the Spa Future Watch in a 10. And then we're going to sneak in a uh, Brady Pros and Prospects here. So, Pros and Prospects, Brady. That one gets an 8. Fitzgerald, we got this cool exclusives. I actually have the uh, Brady of this card in a 9.5, if, if you can believe it. Bought it raw. Finest. It's Ricky. Uh, vintage Breeze 9.5. Manning Best 9.5. Tati's Black to 70 and a 9. Flagship Moss 9.5. This is cool. I think this was from a pack. But Bo Jackson top circuit. <clears throat> That's the uh, negative refractor from 18 top scrum. That's Acuna. I don't think that one was a 10. I had that as a 9. LT tops. 
So this, you know, the cost of grading, type the value on a nine. You, you almost have to get like a nine five or higher on that card to make it worth it. Future Watch Edge nine five, just a little sliver of white there, but overall fantastic card. The uh, newly enshrined Edge hasn't really gotten much respect in the hobby, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Flagship Moss nine five. Flagship Mahas 9.5. Future Watch Edge 9. So we saw a 10, we saw a 9.5, now we see the 9. This one got a minimum size, I think, by PSA, and I didn't really see why, but they wouldn't grade it, so I just. S send it off to Florida a nice solid nine on this Peyton future watch which is a machine number summer hand number is that I thought it was 2000 or 2000 200 or 2000 still pretty cool flagship each around nine I think we saw that already different cards same grade pros and prospects Gets the 10. That's LT from 01. This is one that uh, PSA graded a 6, and I just did not agree with the 6 on this. I snapped it out. I, th I thought it was an 8. SCC thought it was an 8.5, so I mean, everybody has an opinion, but definitely not a 6. It's got like a scratch, I think, on the back, but it's on the back, and it's not like crazy. It's not like a deep scratch at all. So that's the platinum I died, though, to 25. So huge card there. Is the Erlacher Fleer, you know, probably worth 20 bucks in a 9.5. I, I think I was getting kind of confident it was a 10 just because I, you know, experience. Pujols, Bowman's Best, 2550 out of 2999. Could probably see that as an 8.5. EX Breeze gets an 8.5. Great card. One's out of a thousand. Here's the Vic Medallion in a nine. So I mean there's some fire in this order. Card's not th this card's not worth a ton, but to me it's I'd definitely rather have the card than the money. Uh hot gloves, Barry Bonds, eight five. <clears throat> Tough with these flames. Sometimes they get nicked over the, you know, they, they get nicked up over the years, so Here's your start 801 Moss. These these have a little uh, surface issues. That's something I've noticed with these. That's kind of the main thing that you'll see. It's almost like glue or something. That this one might even have what I'm talking about on his on his arm right there. And it you you can't wipe it off. You can't peel it off. Big card here. So Bowman's best breeze in a ten. Beautiful. It's got that. Uh, Refractor shine too. Keep it going. <laughs> Not really impressive with this one. The Mauer Auto, best O2, but the expectation was eight five. So probably a card I'll sell. Um, probably a card that will sell for just a tad over raw. So was it worth it? Probably not. Here's Patino. This is uh this one got a ten. It's twenty twenty Bowman. It's actually from the Bowman product, but it is Bowman Chrome. This is this is a failure for sure. <clears throat> that's that's the silver, but uh this this order they got things right. They didn't put the auto grade on there. It's just too much for me. I would say put the auto on the back. Or just put it smaller somewhere. But that's just me. Nick Chubb. That's the uh, neon green. These come in the... Uh, I, th I think the Walmart blasters. and They're not numbered. You know, the print's probably like 300. It's 98 Bowman. David Ortiz gets an 8.5.
on card beautiful i think there's something on the back but this one looks really cool in the tux certain cards that's that's a nicer lacquer that's when he was playing safety with uh, new mexico but that's the uh upper deck upper deck ionics that's out of 300 that one got a respectable nine That one looks cool. The LT to 500. So they actually, they grade thick cards the same as thin cards, which which I like. And I think that's the way it should be. I think PSA would have 8 5 this or something. But, you know, I, I saw this card as Mint Plus, and they did too. You, you can't drop a grade just because it's a thick card. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Patterson in a 10. That's the Young Guns. Let's go forward a year. Here's the 2019 Jack Hughes in a 10. <laughs> this this wasn't was not great. 8-5 Steven Jackson, but I always liked this set back in the day. Hot Prospects. It just looks cool. This is the last year that uh. Maybe not the last year, but one of the last years of Fleer. <clears throat> the SPX Gold. A5. It's got a little edge chipping. Locker room autographs of edge and a 9. So, a lot of this SGC stuff, I, I won't put it in auction. I'll I'll put a lot, some, some of it in as a... Uh, just buy it now because I don't want to let my SGC stuff go for cheap because I respect the company and I respect the grades. Uh, signature Series Ricky, 8.5. So, I mean, yeah, this one didn't do that great, but it, it definitely has some, ed some edging, so it's fair. I think this, this was a PSA 7 that I just didn't agree with. I was thinking 8.5. And it got an SGC nine, so it's got a little edging in white there, but I don't think it was enough. Like that that's just not enough, especially when the card's centered to centered pretty well to push a card to a seven. Just things have to make sense. I, th I th think I think it's okay to question grading companies and trust your instincts on certain cards. <laughs> See this is off top to bottom, but Pujols, Bowman Chrome. So I think they got this one right. But that's that's a huge card, you know, even in an SGC 8. And just by staring at the auto, you know, I can kind of tell it's not smudge, it's bold. So it's the, the auto, if it was graded, to be a 10. So, you know, if the auto was smudged or there was a problem with it, it would sell for less, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm not a big fan of the auto grades, because I think you can just look at the auto and assess the auto yourself. Uh... <clears throat> Contenders, that's the Sean Alexander, 8-5, not bad. That's the same set as Brady's. That's the 99 Bowman Beltre, 9-5. So, third year Beltre. <laughs> Chubb, 199, that's the, uh, the Red Wave. Saw that one before. Eight five. Verlander Elite to five hundred. Definitely a cool card there. And then here's a monster. SPX. So I mean, there's some monsters just sneaking in this order. So that's the uh, Young Stars. SPX to fifteen hundred pools. Eighty two traded Ripken. This is definitely one of my favorite cards from the nineteen eighties. Just and it lo looks really good in this holder. Great copy. That one got a nine. That's respectable for sure. Kel McCarr, I know PSAs go for like four fifty, so I mean if I sold this buy it now, I would just have my buy it now at like three eighty five and just sit sit on it. I'm I'm not selling my or I mean I might even push it up above that and just sit on it and not not sell the SGC stuff cheap. Um, 201, card 201, MVP, LeBron.
Here's the hoop, Kobe. 9-5. Pretty good. Let's see Iverson start eight two thousand eight five. You got Bowman LeBron in a nine. See that white right there? Because that one is uh, centered very well. Rookie exclusives. City Heights gets a nine. This card's definitely dropped in value. This is sweet. The, the uh, traded Miggy. I've, I've actually gotten some PSA tens of this lately, but this uh, gets the ten. <clears throat> Ninety-five Diamond Kings Griffey and a nine. I actually just bought a ten, PSA ten of this for two hundred the other day. Beltre. Top Stars Pujols, 9-5. Joe Maurer Base Tops in a 9. That's the uh, flagship. a grinky that is an upper deck that's actually a minor league card so he's got the prospect uh future gems auto and he's got this one too not a lot to choose from from him from that year score trade to griffey this is like a 40 dollar card last card fitzgerald chrome in a nine so um i thought that order was good <clears throat> very strong most cards are 8, 5 to 10. Lots of 10s mixed in.